Hey guys, welcome back to Shay's Way. Oh my gosh, today, surprise, surprise, we are doing another smoky eye. Another one, you may ask, why? You literally just did a smoky eye. Well, well, well. It is because I'm doing my makeup class homework with Lipstick Nick and I learned a new technique. So if you guys want to see a really cool technique on how to do a smoky eye super easy and really nicely, then stay tuned because it'll be rad, okay? Okay! Also, fun fact of the day, um, I was using a microphone, a different microphone than I usually use for making this video and the audio decided not to work. So. <laughs> Welcome to voiceover Shay's way. Okay, let's get into this video. Hey, putting on some moisturizer and primer. I'm using the Glam Glow and the Tatcha because Glam Glow is bae. It like makes my face really nice. And Tatcha, I don't know how it works. It just does and I like it. And it be vibing like that. It really, you know, it's fancy. We love a really good fancy primer. It always makes the day better. Now we're going with some Juvia's Place foundation. It's the velvety matte. I'm just dotting that on my face, yo. Um. There's no method to this madness. I'm just putting it on because I found out that if I put it anywhere else on my body, it just sinks into it. So why not just put it into my face where I want it to go? And then we blend it out with my cute little Juvia's Place brush. I love that brush. It's a king. Look at it spread. Like that is satisfying. Oh, flip that hair, girl. Flip it. She really do be smooth in it. And now I'm going to the other cheek, and you guys, look at it. Look at how it goes. It just freaking, it covers. But it also doesn't take away my freckles, which is like, what? Now I'm going in with my concealer, and I'm drawing like a little triangle. And the first triangle actually was kind of good. Like, I was a little impressed by it. It was looking kind of good. Um, and it's to kind of like shape my face more contoury. And then the second triangle was like... I mean, not bad, but then this triangle, I don't even know what happened, but I do be clowning. And then I blended it out so that I wouldn't be a clown anymore. And I think that went really well for me. I think that it blended out nicely and I didn't have to clown. It was so good. We are not being a clown in 2020. Using my Tarte setting powder, I just set my under eyes first because I feel like it it's better to start with the under eyes so they don't crease. And then I went through the whole face, yo. I just went for it. Now it is time to bronze with my Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer. Look at me sculpt in that. So I took a little small brush and I kind of just went underneath my cheekbones and was just drawing the line at first. And then I was kind of blending it, if that makes sense. Um, I think it like turned out pretty well, like the shape wise. I kind of made it like round like my face. And then I buffed it out with a bigger brush because we love that brush. That brush is from Amazon and she goes through the jawline. She does the forehead. Girl, I did it all. I contoured the house. Look at me snatching that jaw. It was snatched. And then I decided to contour my nose as well. And I used the Jeffree Star Morphe brush. I was having a little trouble <laughs> with the contour because um, it was being a little patchy. And I was like, why? But then we figured it out. And we started going for it, you know? I went hard on it. I went really hard on it. So then I had to blend it out. It saved the look, and that was good. Oh, girl, it's highlight time, and that is my Ofra highlighter. Oh, my gosh, I snatched my nose with it. Just snatched it, and then boom! Look at that. Oh, my God, that highlight. Okay! Girl, that highlighter is, like, satisfying. Dash my face, she cute. Now it's time to prime the eyes, and because I already did my brows off camera, I decided to carve them a little bit. Since I never carved them when I did them, I was just going out, yo, and I needed to have brows, because that would be scary if I didn't. So I just put two in one, and I carved the house, yo. I freaking wood carved. Wood carvers have nothing on my brows. Using a LA Girl gel liner, I applied that to my eyelid as my base. Oh my gosh, girl, this technique, it is crazy. You guys gotta keep watching because this technique is like, I'm shook. So you just put it on your eyelid and you make sure to get the entire eyelid, but you don't go too far into the crease and you don't go any higher. If you do that, um, you're gonna look like the Black Plague. 
you're really you really will it's really scary so don't do that and what it does is it is a cute little base for the black eyeshadow because black eyeshadow is whack whack the house like black eyeshadow we don't even mess with that sometimes you just put it on and it goes like elsewhere it goes places you don't want it to go like today i put it on and it got somehow on my nose and i was like what my nose is not my eyelid and I don't even know how it happened, but it occurred. So you always gotta be careful with that black eyeshadow. And luckily we got the gel liner to do that for us. Like, wow, what a queen. Using the shade Lynn from Jeffree Star Morphe, I put that shade under my brow bone, girl. Then I took Mr. Diva, which is my BFF shade, and I blended that into the black gel liner because, girl, you gotta have a BFF shade in your crease. What are you doing if you don't? BFF shades are like brown shades that are a little darker than your skin tone. Now it's time for the black shadow. <laughs> Scary, and I just put that over my gel liner. Oh, that blend action. Then I took a shade a little darker than my BFF color. Um, I think that was Boss Angeles. And I blended that into my crease to give it some shape, give it some definition, yo. And then I blended it out with a brush that was supposed to be clean but wasn't clean. Why? Because um, I didn't clean my brushes. Girl, then I freaking added more black because you gotta put that in the crease. You gotta let it connect. And they should blend it so nicely with each other. Like Morphe, okay, I see you. You put Jeffree Star and boom, we make a good palette. Like what? So basically I'm just adding black where there are missing spots of it that got blended away from the other colors or just needed to be defined more to create that smoky eye because it's not a brown smoky eye. It is a black smoky eye. Yeah. Ah! What was that voice that came out of me? So I put eyeliner on my waterline and then I packed on some black eyeshadow on top of that to set that as well as connect my whole smoky eye together. And I think it worked out really well. And then I blended it out with my BFF shade because we like to have a good smoked out under eye. And then I also put on the eyebrow bone shade. It kind of just takes away from too much intensity and allows it to blend nicely together. Girl, inner corner highlights and brow bone highlights. Yeah! Then for the lips, I found a freaking lip pencil. Like I didn't remember that I had this. Actually, I did remember, but I didn't remember for a while, you know? But I remembered today and I was gonna do a bold lip. So I thought, why not draw lips on me? Because I actually don't own lips. If you guys didn't notice, I don't own them. I have slightly a bottom lip, but the top lip, it doesn't exist. So I created one. Yeah, it's free. You don't need any surgery to do so. You don't need any lip injections. No, just get a lip pencil and boom lips so that's a little life hack for you it's a little um five minute craft using unicorn blood from jeffree star's velour liquid lipsticks um i painted on that lip and girl she'd be looking like a vampire emo girl like i'm down for it like put me in the next twilight movie I'm going for it. And then I carved out my lips with some concealer because your lips can never be perfect enough. And also it just kind of gets rid of the messy lines and it just smooths everything out. You gotta have that perfect lip. You can't be looking like Real Housewives after a couple of drinks. Setting spray time. Look at me go, look at me. It's so graceful, so beautiful. Oh. Yep, didn't like that. And then I figured it out. And here's the finished look. Oh my God, I love how it turned out. I think it was slaying. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys like it? Let me know if you liked it in the comments down below or like this video and hit the subscribe button so then I know you liked it or you just like my videos, whatever you wanna do. Also, don't forget to check out my merch because it's super cool and it's on the way to the comment section. So really, are you spending too much time? No, you're not. You're just going on the way, so check it out, yo. And then, don't forget to ring the bell, because then you get notified when I post. Yo, we love that, we love it. I have a giveaway going on. I want to get to 100K subs, and you guys can help me. All you have to do is share my channel with your friends, and then you comment below. And once you comment below that you did that, you're entered in the giveaway. And now, let's do some video shout-outs. Shout-out to some, no. You don't get a shout out, ho. Okay, anyway. Shout out to Ryan's channel, Mark Arino, Charlotte Rosehoof, Zen, and Everybody Hates Pink. 
No, everybody does not hate pink. Pink is great. That's it for the video shoutouts. If you guys want to be in the next video's video shoutouts, then don't forget to comment on this video, any of my other videos, or you can comment on my Instagram, Shay's Way Official, TikTok, Shay underscore C, Twitter, Shay's Way Slays, and Facebook, Shay's Way. Okay, thank you guys so much again for watching. I hope you enjoyed my voiceover makeup tutorial. Um, have a great day. Okay, bye!